This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 3, Callback Functions. In the last exercise, you read records from a remote database back into the app. There are a few steps that happened in that process. When you read records, you can think of it as triggering a four-step process shown in the diagram below. App Lab Program, send requests to read all the records. Yep. Remote database receives requests, gathers the data, uh huh. Then sends back an array of objects all through the internet, keep in mind. Program receives data, triggers callback function. So this function only happens when the data is received. It has a trigger. So we can do read records and say, hey, we want this data, but this function is only executed upon the return of that data or whatever is sent back from the um, from the remote database. Because the internet is involved, there's actually a delay between when the program, yeah, your program calls read records and when the callback function is called. We can even see this delay in App Lab, um, which is frustrating because code runs in order, and that's why you want to have this only uh, uh, execute upon the return of data, because if you had a line under this that executed immediately, and it used the data, well, it might not have been returned yet, so it will throw an error. Your code from the previous exercise is provided. Okay, add another console log statement after read records command, run the data, and pay close attention to the sequence of event. Oh, this is what I was just saying. So, it's going to take a few seconds to get the ba data back from the internet. So code runs in order, and that's why we have this function that only executes once the data is returned, because if we had this outside of it, below it right here, it the data is not going to be returned by the time our code runs that. It would need to be instantaneous. So finish is going to run before records. Yeah, because it takes a second to get the data. So the computer just keeps on reading the code, and it doesn't get... Once it gets the data, it goes, oh, I got it. So it might only be a second delay, right? But in that second, the code just moves on and reads this. Oh, and now we got the response. We'll execute this function. Yeah, that's pretty critical. So let's keep going.